Yo, what's up? Doing, How y'all doing? Doing good, man. Hey, man, want to send a shout out to Taylor Hicks, that boy from Birmingham, won American Idol. Yeah, I was pulling for you, man. Yeah, Soul Patrol. Of course, at the end, I would have pulled for anybody. <laughs> I just wanted to get it over with. You know, I mean, I know a lot of people watch it in America, but I did too. But you know, it ain't like they gave us a whole lot of choice. It was on four or five nights a week. <laughs> <laughs> and American Idol is supposed to be the search for the new star. Mm-hmm. How's that working out for us? <laughs> People on this show ain't exactly knocking the music world on its butt, you know? Look, Ruben Studded, he won two years ago. Brother ain't been seen in public <laughs> since. It's like he went in the witness protection program or something. I mean, if you ask me, America need to quit looking for new singing stars. We got too many of them already. In fact, I don't know about y'all, I ain't crazy about half the ones they got on there now. Look at some of these big-name guest stars that they had on the show this year. How about old Barry Manilow? Yeah, my people. I sure have been seeing him. And Kenny Rogers. At least I think it was Kenny Rogers. If y'all wondering what he did with all that chicken money, looked to me like the plastic surgeon got most of it. I never did like to listen to him. Now I can't stand to look at it. <laughs> oh, and how about that big all-star lineup on the two-hour finale? Did you see these people? Mary J. Blige, Burt Bacharach, Dionne Warwick, Clay Aiken, and Prince. Do what? What do y'all do? Pick these names out of a hat? How the show going to find a new star? They can't hardly come up with no old. <laughs> Goodness sake. Of course, the way they do it is all jacked up anyway. Now, here's how show business used to work. You want to be a singer? Okay, first... You learn how to sing, and then you get to make a record. And then, if America really likes you, they put you on TV. Now, here's how American Idol does it. First, they put you on TV. <laughs> then, you learn how to sing. And if America really, really likes you, then you get to make a record. <laughs> what kind of crackhead plan is this? Oh, and when it's all over, you don't end up with one half ass singer. You end up with 12 of them. <laughs> And you got one of them got the record deal, and there's 11 more right behind them going, man, I almost made it. I need to hang in there and keep singing. No, you don't, brother. What you need to do is go on back home and hang drywall with your daddy like you're doing for this whole mess got started. See, here's the real problem. They got more talent shows on the air than we got talented people to put on them. You yeah. Yeah. Every time you cut the TV on, it ain't nothing but singers that can't sing, dancers that can't dance, Comedians that ain't funny. Oh, and get this. If the show ends up being boring, they say, well, that's because America didn't get on the phone and vote the right ones off. Oh, oh, I see. Your show sucks, but it's my fault. <laughs> hey, did nobody ask me if we ought to be giving regular people a shot at the big time? Because I would have said no. I ain't got no interest in regular people. See, that's why I'm watching TV. <laughs> Y'all think about it. I'm out of way.